Bunkering has a lot of problems across the globe. Uh, even if you take care of the look at the Houston, Singapore, or Panama, the major bunkering areas, they, we have a problem for bunkering. Around 200 ships are being uh, had issues last year due to the bunkering issues, and there are a lot of class action suits are being filed across Houston and many other places for the bunkering issues. And a lot of people say is that bunkering issues mainly come from the uh, fuel issues. The, the fuel has got high sulfur content, but it is not. I mean, the publication that was done last quarter, it shows that majority of the fuel that went into the ships has been passed. Still, we have an issue. We don't know what is causing it at this point of time. Nobody knows it. So why this could be an impact to Singapore? Quoting from Apollo, I'll say that Singapore, we have a problem. Last quarter, Singapore's bunkering year over year got reduced by 8%. It is not an isolated incident. Whereas Dubai raised the bunkering by 17 to 18%. So Singapore, we have a problem. Why? Why our bunkering is having an issue? This can impact our brand image of Singapore, and this can impact our maritime Singapore that we are planning to have based on the bunker. And I'm not going to go into the details of why we are the top in the world right now. So how we can resolve this? One is that we are saying that we can have a complete chain of custody. Currently, the contract that is having between the various bunker operators and the traders and the uh, refineries are completely, nobody knows what is going to happen, what is happening over there. So how we can bring a close network, how we can make it an immutable network, and how we can bring the transparency. That's where the blockchain comes into picture. And a private, permissible blockchain can bring the immutability, bring the smart contract into the Singapore area, into the Singapore organization, and into the Singapore ecosystem that can do it. We have a platform called DLT Ledgers that has run X currently, that has gone live as of last month. In November, uh, early November, it went live. And we have got around six patents currently with IPO Singapore on blockchain that is happening. So our solution, I'll quickly run through, it's bring every parties in the network into the ecosystem of the blockchain. It's a private blockchain that we are proposing. And the deployment is around six to eight weeks. And two LOIs are, LOIs are in progress. One, uh, the largest trader, a bunga fuel trader in Singapore has already signed up for it. We are signing a contract with the end of the week. And this is our tool that we are going to do. And why DLT? We are, we are a startup that we are in the stealth mode last year. We came out in January. We went live in last month. And these are our customers who are already signed up with our blockchain. And you might have seen uh, DBS Bank has been already in our platform. They announced it, announced it earlier this month. And the, this is the leadership that we have. We have around more than 30 years experience in the enterprise. I had the privilege of working with Mr. Tan and various other dignitaries over here as a part of the Singapore operation. This is a Singapore-based startup. We are currently, our system is live. We have, like I said, we have many customers that are already happening. More than $100 million are being transacted, transacted through our system. Thank you. Thank you, Suji.